Maryland's Board of Education is now requiring all high school graduates be knowledgeable about the environment under the new program, No Child Left Inside. Here to weigh in is Andrew Langer of the Institute of Liberty. Andrew, when you heard about this, what was your response? Well, it's very, very distressing. It's clear that Governor O'Malley is completely out to lunch when it comes to Maryland's problems. The environment's been improving in Maryland for years, and yet, uh, and our and our schools are struggling to uh, to make up the funds that are that are falling behind in this economy. And yet, here's the governor proposing yet another mandate for our local school districts that they simply can't handle. We think that's a huge problem. Here is his explanation of this. He calls it a defining moment for education in Maryland by approving this environmental graduation requirement. The Board of Education is ensuring that our young people graduate with a keen understanding and connection to the natural world. Only through exposure to nature and education about our fragile ecosystem can we create the next generation of stewards. What? What, what is this? What is environmentally literate? Well, I've been going through the curriculum, and it's really a, a way for the state and environmental groups in the state of Maryland, who are the ones who are really writing these proposals, to get out there and to push their agenda, which is very, very far left, make Maryland essentially the California of the East and sort of leading these, uh, these very strange and potentially damaging to the state, th these proposals. It's a way to get kids to uh, uh, be inculcated with their agenda long before they graduate from high school so that when they come out, they're uh, ready-made citizens who are already have these value judgments made that they ought to be making on their own. I, I have another theory, though, Andrew. Th throw me under the bus if you want. I think it's about money. And that is, they get more federal money by tying in environmental causes into the state curricula. So they look at this, they say our, st our schools are struggling, we need more money. If we do more environmental stuff and Congress moving forward with this, we'll get some more money. Well, that's, that's a very, very good point. I mean, the, the, the fact is that they are relying on the potential for federal funding of this No Child Left Inside program, which who knows it's a, if it's going to pass. Maryland's been down this road before where it's uh, uh, created programs that rely on federal funds. And when those federal funds run out, as they're going to do, because our federal government's facing just as big a, a fiscal problem as the state is, then, you know, the state's left holding the bag. This is simply a project that Marylanders can't afford, and they really don't even need. Kids are, are mm -hmm. getting more and more environmentally savvy every year uh, that's a good thing but the bottom line is they don't need the state to start mandating that they have this so-called literacy requirement as my friend right. Daniel Bongino says they need real literacy not environmental literacy and they need to concentrate on core subjects I would argue Andrew Langer from the Institute of Liberty thanks for being with us thanks Andrew. thank you for having me coming up